Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I get to check out the Japanese special edition DVD release of the amazing Infernal Affairs trilogy. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. So if you've been watching the channel, you know I did have uh, quite a long trip out to Japan there in October, and while I was there, I did manage to pick up uh, quite a number of DVDs, uh, not uh, the amount I really wanted to bring home, but still got quite a decent amount. Uh, one of those was the Infernal Affairs Trilogy special edition box set. I mean, this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, 2,300 yen, worked out around 11 or 12 pounds, but uh, I really, really, really wanted to get my hands on it. Plus, I mean, everything else was so cheap. Uh, the other box sets I got of like Cusern, a Returner, uh, things like that, they were all working out at around two pounds. So I thought, I'm just gonna spend a little bit more on this beautiful beautiful set which I'm very very happy uh, to, to have done because it, it is quite a rarity to get something like this released here in the UK. Uh, I did of course have this trilogy originally from its uh, Tartan Asia Extreme DVD releases back in the day as you can see. Adore the movies I mean they are phenomenal uh, especially the first. Uh, I just haven't went back to them. I have to say I watched these I would, probably two or three times when they first came out, uh, which was quite some time ago now. 2004, bloody hell. Almost, fuck, almost 20 years ago. Wow. Um, and I was really, really happy with what they put out there. The extra features on here were fantastic to have. Uh, behind the scenes, deleted scenes, interviews, that kind of thing. Um, so I will... I will go back to these, I will go back to these, check them out. In fact, I will go back and put them up against what uh, is contained here in this stunning Infernal Affairs Japanese Special Edition. Let me just try and pop that. No, this is going to get messy. I'm not going to pop that price off just yet. Anyway, really excited to get stuck into this and figure out what is included. I should have translated it. I keep saying this. I never do it. How stupid. That peels back to show, of course, a lovely little picture. I, I just love this simple design. It's a very textured, leathery look to this box, which is pretty cool. And then this gleaming silver print that's on it. Uh, there's a lot, obviously, to come with this here. I'm going to get stuck in now and show you. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is when I come back, all the extra features that are included. Because there's no English on here whatsoever, except for the word disc, which lets me know that there are four. <laughs> Disc 1 is the first film, I believe. Disc 2, probably the second. And Disc 3 is the third film, with the fourth disc being the bonus disc. Uh, okay, let's see. What do we got? Trilogy bonus materials. Okay, so... Oh, 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 one, two, three. Inside here, we've obviously got a very, very thick book. Uh, perhaps I will start with that, just to make life a little easier. There's a few fingerprints on it because this came from a store called Book Off uh, and it's kind of like a pre-owned DVD, music, games, toys, that kind of thing. Um, which, I mean, I could have spent my whole trip going to Japan. I could have spent it in every Book Off store that I could find. Anyway, let's get stuck in here and see what is on offer. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Now I know Criterion, I believe it was Criterion, have released uh, a new restored Blu-ray set. And I will be picking that up eventually. In fact, I might watch these movies uh, tonight and get so excited by them again that I will order it immediately. Uh, of course, they deserve to be seen in the best fashion, which would be their rest restorations and their Blu-ray releases or 4K releases. But... Uh, you know, for now, I'm going to go through this. This will be the first time watching them in at least 15 years, I would say. In at least 15 years. This book is beautiful. There's some gorgeous, gorgeous shots in here. Why can't the UK distributors... 
lot of the boutique UK distributors like Idea Films, Eureka, Arrow, etc. just give us things like this. I mean, they tend to do it for other countries. Uh, and when it comes to the UK, they just usually throw out a bland DVD release. Jesus, there's a lot in here. I'm only halfway through. I'm going to flick this one. Bear with me because there's a lot to love here. There's a lot of great shots. Wow. This is just nice. And I'm no doubt reading it from the back, am I? No, I'm reading it back. I'm reading it the right way. Who knows? Gosh. Oh, it's giving me flashbacks to the movies. I'm excited. I want to get in and see them. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Some great posters. Wow. Of course, these movies inspired a host of new style of filmmaking, of wannabe movies, of copycat movies. There was so much... Uh, to Infernal Affairs and its sequels that it just created this whole big friggin burst of crime of stylish crime movies from Hong Kong filmmakers. I'm not complaining. I'm very very happy with the most of them to be honest. Um, okay let's get stuck into this now. What have we got? The first the first one. Oh, wow look at these. Two of the most handsome men in Hong Kong cinema. I hope there's not a massive gleam off this case. Look at that though. Absolutely beaut. What a shot. And inside the disc has the same design on it there. That is very, very nice. My goodness. You know, these men rarely age, I have to say. <laughs> they, they, they kind of have a slower aging process. <laughs> Then we have uh, Sean Yu and uh, is it Edison Chan here. Um, obviously they're younger selves, which was pretty cool. And a bit of a surprise, I have to say, when I remember watching Infernal Affairs 2 for the first time, I was a bit confused, but then eventually got it very, well, not eventually, got it very, very quickly. Inside there, of course, the disc is the same and a different shot on the background. I mean, the use of cinematography in these films the landscapes, everything about it was just fucking stunning. Then we have the wonderful Anthony Wong and equally impressive Eric Chang. Oh, two of Hong Kong's greatest, greatest stars. And although they're not quite as handsome as Andy Lau and Tony Leung, <laughs> they still make just as many incredible, if not even more impressive movies. They are fantastic actors. And then the final disc, which has a mix of stars early on, I can see Karina Lau in the back and Kelly. This has all the bonus features on here and they are listed. Oh, we've got a wee bit of English here. So there's the making of Infernal Affairs. There's the Japanese premiere. There's outtakes, trailers, press conference in Hong Kong for Infernal Affairs 3. So. There absolutely will be plenty to enjoy on each of these discs. And I'm really hoping that there's a lot more, not just here on the bonus disc, but on the actual films themselves. Uh, brilliant. Okay. That, I mean, there's a lot there to love for sure. Beautiful setup. Gorgeously designed. Happy enough to have spent the 11 or 12 pounds on that because it does look stunning as I say um, but I'm going to go put them up against the Tartan Asia Extreme DVDs for quality also see if there's any extra features there that match these this is going to take a few weeks so I <laughs> but with the uh, the magic of editing I'm going to be right back to let you know what I think So just back after, well not just back, it's taken me some time to finally get round to checking these out since I started this video. Um, <laughs> just back after checking out the Infernal Affairs Trilogy Japanese DVD Special Edition release in this beautiful leather bound book that was inspired by Tony Leung's jacket as it states here on the back. I did my Google Translate and I did mention that that's why they have given this box this leather design as you can see um fantastic set uh first off disappointed that there was no english subtitles um not truly disappointed because it's it's fine it was a japanese release they didn't have to have english subtitles on there 
but for me it was disappointing that there was no English subtitles. Uh, that said, there was still plenty to enjoy on there. Um, disc one, you had multiple audio tracks there. You had a couple of Chinese tracks, a Japanese track. You had an audio commentary, although I couldn't figure out who that was from. Um, quite possibly one of the directors, I suppose. Uh, then you, so that ran for an hour and 40 minutes. Quality wise, it was kind of like the Tartan Asia releases. Um, probably a little less um, in quality, I would say. All of them were kind of less in quality than the Tartan Asia releases. But on disc one, on the Infernal Affairs one um, disc, you also had the alternate uh, Chinese theatrical version. So you have the Hong Kong initial Hong Kong theatrical version, then you have the alternate Chinese theatrical version, which runs a wee bit shorter, uh, an hour and 38 minutes, and has an alternate ending on there. I didn't sit through the whole thing, but I will get to that eventually. Um, disc two, again, same setup. Uh, Quality is the same. Uh, language options are there. No English subtitles. There are Japanese subtitles of course, uh, runs shy of two hours, um, but no extras at all. It pretty much says, you know, play film, audio, uh, chapters, uh, that's about it. Uh, and also the same with Infernal Affairs, disc three. Um, quality is the same, uh, no extras at all on there, runs for around an hour and 57 minutes, I think that was, so slightly less than Infernal Affairs 2. I mean, they're they were still fantastic movies to watch, but it only makes me want to get the, uh, I think it's the Criterion Blu-ray release of these movies even more, which I will get, eventually get around to. There's just so much that I want to see and I don't have the money for it. Anyway, uh, then we come to the bonus disc and this was the most uh, packed, of course, and entertaining as such. Uh, so on the bonus disc, you have a making of for each of the chapters, for each of the films there, which were fantastic to watch. Now they're presented in a kind of a squished 4-3 letterbox um, for the most part, which was a shame. Uh, but then again, it's a DVD release. We shouldn't expect anything more there. Hopefully on the Blu-rays, they're included there and they're provided in the right ratio, but they were pretty cool to see. Um, so the first one ran for 16 minutes, um, probably, well, probably the best out of the three of them uh, in terms of the making of, but they were all as entertaining, honestly. Again, no English subtitles, unfortunately, but it was still a joy to watch how they how they captured certain shots and what went on behind the scenes there. Uh, part two ran for just under 22 minutes in length, which was, again, quite, quite a, a piece of um, filmmaking going on there. Uh, and then part three was the shortest for 12 minutes in total. Uh, along with that then you have got the Japanese premieres for each of the movies again. Now these were quite interesting. It seems like they, they went all out for the first one. Um, obviously it had the bigger stars in it so to speak with Andy and Tony but it was pretty cool to see having just been there to Japan recently. Um, it was nice to see some areas that I, I knew but also you know I, I said this before in another video when I was going around uh, Tokyo there was always something going on with a pop group or, or movie or something like that there was always some sort of promotion and they're very very big into it and they really enjoy it these guys were a massive hit to them uh, but the part one runs for just under 19 minutes uh, it's the longest in terms of the premiere footage uh, part two was just around six minutes and then part three, I think, was around nine, maybe nine or just under nine minutes in length. But again, all great to see and all fantastic to have on there. Uh, then you have got the outtakes as well. Um, not so much the hilarity of the outtakes. Uh, sometimes shots that went wrong. There are some humorous ones in there. I did genuinely laugh at them, uh, which was pretty cool to see. But again, there was, there was a one one outtake set for each of the movies there so the part one infernal affairs uh one it runs for nine minutes in length uh infernal affairs two it just runs for about two minutes it was very very short obviously a very um a serious lot uh there wasn't too many ng shots or mistakes happened there on part two and then the 
third outtake one runs the longest at just over 12 minutes in length. But again, all fantastic to watch. Uh, very, very entertaining overall, I would say. And then you have got uh, trailers and TV spots for all three movies. I mean, there's a ridiculous amount of trailers and TV spots and promotional materials on there. Uh, too much to try and remember in terms of what they all ran for, their length of time, all that kind of thing. But lots of trailers, lots of TV spots uh, and other things there. If you really want to get into it, it's going to take you a wee while to sit through. It's probably an hour's worth of watching in those alone. And then the final piece of uh, the bonus disc is the Infernal Affairs 3 uh, Hong Kong press conference, which was pretty cool to see yet again. Very candid, very raw to some degree. Andy Lau is like a big kid. He is fantastic to watch. Um, I mean, he just loves it. Um, that was the most entertaining part for me was Andy, but it it runs for probably, I would say just over 25 minutes in length. No English subtitles again, but just fantastic to see. Just great to feel the energy and see all these guys getting together to talk about their movie with the press and stuff. And again, it's just so like relaxed. There's no, there's no airs and graces about it. And it was a fantastic piece. I mean, overall, yes, as I said, I'm disappointed that there was no English subtitles on there, but I am absolutely super glad that I did pick this up when I was out in Japan. And I can't wait to get back again um, to head to more of these book off stores to check out other uh, ex rentals or pre owned movies that I'll never have seen before. And, and certain collector's editions like this and The Returner and Kasser and things like that. They were uh, absolute bargains to pick up. But I am really glad that I got this. The booklet alone in there is absolutely beautiful, but the whole setup is fantastic. So yes, double thumbs up for me. Super glad that it's in my collection. And yes, now I just need the whole Blu-ray set <laughs> because I'm really in the mood to see Infernal Affairs, the best it's ever been. So thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia. Don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel. You can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.